Welcome back to our channel. Today marks day three of our 18 day honeymoon through Italy. If you've been following along, you know that we arrived in Lake Como from Milan yesterday and spent the day wandering around the beautiful Verena. We started off day three early, catching the ferry from Verena to Bellagio. The ferry is an amazing way to travel in Lake Como and highly recommend it to anyone visiting. You can buy an unlimited day pass for about $20 per person at any of the ferry stations. Don't forget to check out the ferry times and routes before you go so you're not caught at the ferry station waiting an hour before the next boat arrives, which happened to us. <laughs> Verena and Bellagio have frequent stops which make them both great towns to stay in, while others like Menaggio are just as wonderful but have less stops on the line. We'll link to where you can find more info about the ferries below. When we got off in Bellagio, our first stop was to, what else, grab a cappuccino and croissant, and then we boarded our semi-private boat tour to Villa de Bobbianello. While we enjoyed this beautiful boat ride, if we had to do it again, our recommendation would be to skip the guided tour and get your own private boat. Just make sure you do it online in advance. That way you can wander as you please, have a romantic little aperitivo on the water, and be at your own pace. We kept saying how shocked we were at how quiet the lake was in early September, and thought it would have been so easy to navigate a boat since there were so few other boats on the lake. Regardless of how you get there, you must tour Villa del Babianello. It was used to film scenes from two of James's favorite movie franchises, James Bond and Star Wars. The grounds are immaculate and the view of the lake is stunning. Our boat tour also included tickets to a guided tour of the interior of the grounds at the villa. And in our opinion, you're totally fine to skip this and just spend your time admiring the grounds. There's so many beautiful spots to take pictures and just enjoy the serenity of the lake. We should also note that while we access the villa by private boat, most of the public enters by a 20 minute walk from the nearby town of Leno. The inside of the villa is not as astounding as the exterior, but it contains its own charm and oddities that I won't give away should anyone be planning to visit. However, I will share the information which is readily available on Wikipedia for those who don't plan on reading it. Uh, the villa has had several owners, and the last person to own it was Count Manzino. He was an eccentric, adventurous person who died many years too early due to lung cancer, and oddly enough, you can see many of his tobacco pipes laying around the villa which I found interesting. He certainly lived a big life while he was alive. He went on 21 expeditions all over the world, and some of the artifacts from his expeditions can be seen in the house. The top floor is dedicated to some of the most adventurous feats, and upon his death in 1988, the villa was given to the Italian government with an endowment to ensure its future. Since then, it's been a tourist attraction, a Hollywood set, a wedding venue, and more. Lake Como can be affordable if you travel wisely. Stay at an Airbnb or a bed and breakfast. Travel during the shoulder season when prices are less. An excursion into small villages just off the waterfront for reduced dining and beverage prices. That being said, you cannot escape the gluttony and wealth that the lake attracts. Sting, George Clooney, Richard Branson, and Russian oligarchs all own homes on the lake. The villas are stunning. Each one seems to be bested by the next. One of my favorite parts of staying here was leaning on the edge of the boat and admiring the architecture and artistry which went into building each home.
After a couple hours, we were back in Bellagio and ready to explore this infamous town. I bought a new wedding ring, bam, right here. It's made out of uh, olive wood, which I think is pretty cool. I picked up like a spoon I'm gonna give to uh, my parents as a gift and some other things, so Bellagio is beautiful. We are in Bellagio and we stopped at Gelateria del Borgo. We got the chocolate, a crema di lemonello. <laughs> and this, the lemon is insane. It has like these little crunchy pieces in it and it's really tart and it's delicious. How's the chocolate? Oh, well, the chocolate's fantastic. Between the chocolate and the lemon, I'd go with the lemon. You know what the lemon tastes like? Do you know those, um, you know those little chocolate sticks that you can put in your coffee or tea and they have like lemon or like raspberry flavors and kind of melts. You get it as a kid, but like normally as a kid, you don't even put it in the tea, you just like eat it. The lemon crema flavor tastes like the inside of those sticks and the little chunks in there taste like the inside of those sticks. It's like pretty, it, it's, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. The wafer also functions as a scooper, and I like that. It's on screen, checked <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that. That'll be gone in an hour. Yeah. We're walking from Bellagio to Pescalo, which is an old fishing village, and you walk through these beautiful stone walkways with cobblestone streets, and it's nice to just get away from the crowds and explore uh, Bellagio. We're heading towards the other side. Everything looks so much further on the map, but when you're out in the town and just walking around, you hit the things so quickly. Um, and yeah, it's nice because I feel like we're seeing a lot more than I expected that we'd be able to. One of the best things about traveling is just allowing yourself to get lost because you find beautiful little alleys like this. There's no one here. It's so, so beautiful. It's like a postcard. So let's go down here. Maybe we'll find out. And leave it to James to wander down a random alley and find the most beautiful beach. Yeah. All right, so we're still in the uh, little town on the other side. It's really hilly, I gotta tell you what. I'm busting my fucking ass, you hear me? How out of breath I am. Uh, it's really cool though. I mean, you saw those views that we were just showing. Take a look at uh, what we got right in front of us. It's just funny. keeps going. It's amazing. Just keeps going. You're like stuck in these little alleyways. 
seems like something that they'd be like filming like a fantasy film in, you know? Like, I don't know, some characters like stuck in a maze or, it's just really cool. Yeah, these are the parts of uh, Bellagio and just travel in general I love most, just the little nooks and crannies. Okay, history check. Lake Como is located in Northern Italy and is close to Switzerland, a neutral country. In the closing days of World War II, Benito Mussolini was captured trying to escape to Switzerland. He was killed in the village of Azeno, one of the small towns on the west side of the lake. Wow. Arriving back in Verena, we were punch drunk, and maybe a bit real drunk. I think we did it. We squeezed every last drop out of the past 24 hours. However, that is not to say we saw all the lake had to offer. One could easily spend a week here and be entertained. When in Rome, tourists throw a coin into the Trevi Fountain to guarantee their safe return to Rome in the future. I'm not sure if a similar ritual exists in Lake Como or the Lombardy region, but I hope it does. I'm uncertain when we will be back, but I know we will be back. What day is today? Friday. September 11th. 11th. All right, September 11th. Uh, we're just finishing up two days in Lake Como and uh, we're getting ready to head out for Milan, but I we think it's a good point to reflect on everything that we've done here. So uh, first off, we stayed in Verena and uh, we're at this uh, B&B called Michelangelo's B&B. Highly recommend it uh, for, if no other reason, just for this terrace on. All right, so just quick 360 view here, as you can tell. Which isn't even fair to say is the only reason to stay here. I mean, the service has been absolutely lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying Patty that's the only reason to stay here. I'm saying, I'm <laughs> saying this is the reason that will sell you on probably coming back here. Yeah. I think this is a one-of-a-kind uh, terrace. Like, I, I haven't seen a terrace like this in uh, Bellagio or Menagio or the rest of Verena. I think this is the only one that we've seen. So if you're coming to visit here, stay here. Uh, it, it's been amazing. You know, we came up here last night with a bottle of wine and just hung out and looked at the twinkly lights of Bellagio and Menagio on the other side of the lake. And Takes your breath away. Amazing. It really does. Right next to the uh, B&B is a bakery and uh, Michelangelo, the owner, uh, every morning he puts together this amazing breakfast of uh, fresh fruit and uh, croissants and focaccia um, Cakes and cookies and pies. Fresh yeah, yeah, cheese, different cheese, pastries. Cheese. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing. Made um, to order cappuccinos and espressos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he makes the uh, cappuccinos and espressos, espressos for everyone. It, it, it's it's fantastic. So the breakfast is amazing. You can come up here on the terrace. You can eat your breakfast, uh, whatever you want. Um, just amazing. Let me just ask you, what, what was your favorite part of Lake Como? When we arrived in Verena, I was. <clears throat> astounded by the beauty of the town but then when we hiked up to the castle on our first day it was so gorgeous we almost didn't go because we just wanted to sit our butts in a bar and just enjoy the view of the lake but I'm so so glad we hiked up there um, it was so quiet and the views were absolutely stunning and the grounds are just gorgeous and we learned a little bit of information about Verena and Lake Como while we were up there um, and that that was just incredible but yesterday was equally incredible because we saw that villa um, and walked the beautiful grounds of that and got on a boat in, in the lake and that was I mean all of it's just been incredible I feel so lucky <laughs> the little hike that we did to the top of the castle in Verena was probably my favorite part mm -hmm. but going to the villa where they filmed Star Wars and uh, mm -hmm. Casino Royale that was also like really beautiful 
uh, just a lot of people. Um, Bellagio is amazing. Yeah. It was really great, but my lord, there's so many tourists. And we're here during COVID in the off season of September and there's a lot of tourists. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I couldn't imagine what it would be like going there in the middle of July um, when COVID's over, before COVID. It, it, it would have just been, for me personally, I think it'd be just too much. Menagio, on the other hand, um, was really cool. Like you kind of have to take this bit of a, a walk, not a bit of a walk, but you have to take this short walk from the ferry to get to the actual town. Just follow but the people. When, but once you get to the town, <laughs> Yeah, but mm -hmm. once you get to the town, I thought it was... It's really beautiful. Really, you really walk. Beautiful. At first, it felt like there was nothing there, because um, when you get off the ferry, it's just one bar and some hotels. But when you head towards the right, you come upon a beautiful pathway along the lake and um, a square where all the bars and restaurants are, and it's really, really quaint and quiet, and you can just sit and have a little aperitivo, an Aperol spritz, and just enjoy the people watching and just the beauty of the lake. It was really, really lovely. I will say though about Bellagio, I loved walking towards the old fishing village on the opposite side of where all the hustle and bustle is of Bellagio and where you get off the ferry. Um, there's these beautiful stone pathways and they're really narrow and you have no idea where they're gonna go and it's just the beauty of getting lost in a city. So that was yeah, that was yeah, really yeah. really lovely. And then at one point you're you're walking through these stone pathways with these like 6 foot walls and you don't know what's coming and then all of a sudden you open out to the lake and a little um, the fishing village, the old marina and there's a couple of boat docks and it's just absolutely stunning and it's so quiet. So okay. what's next? What are we doing today? All right, so the plan for today is we're leaving the uh, Michelangelo's B&B. We're hopping on a train in Verena. That train's going to take us back to Milano. Uh, then we're gonna have a short layover where we're gonna try and run to the store to pick up some more memory cards for this camera or hard drive or something to transfer some of the data. And I need nail polish and cuticle clippers. So we're gonna go to Sephora. Yeah. Because there's a <laughs> Sephora in the train station. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after that, we're gonna get back on a train. We're taking that train over to Venice. Venice. And once we're in Venice, uh, we'll be providing an update there. And we're gonna share all that lovely, lovely information with you. And once we get to Venice, I am going to get a haircut and get this beard cleaned up because I forgot to bring a razor and that's fine. It's going to be great. Ciao. Ciao.